Welcome back to Oxenfree. It's time to enter the bomb shelter and go past the point of no return. Listen, Alex. I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? Mm, no clue. Tim. You call him Tim. Huh. <laughs> That's terrible. <sighs> oh, brother. Yeah, it's not one of my finest. Don't you mean... Oh, stepbrother, Alex? Yeah, okay, that's not one of my finest either. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads. I don't know if this place would have held up. <sighs> Too late now anyway. I never got to try it out. It's... it feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a... a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait a second. Where... Where's Nona and Ren? So when I ended the last episode, or, well, near the end of the last episode, I'd come right to the front of the bomb shelter and everybody was saying like, okay, this is the point of no return and everybody was standing out there. Well, except for Clarissa. But Nona, Ren, and both of us were there. And then after I went to Harden Tower to look for any notes and then came back, they weren't there anymore. I assumed they would just be right down here, but... I mean... They didn't have a radio to get through this lock, right? So... Where are they? It wouldn't make much sense for them to be on the other side here. Pod. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out... Just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes! This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head in there. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. <sighs> I don't know. But try and get it playing right if you can. One of the dialogue options was, I wonder if this is a... Like, I think this might be a trap. I wonder. But then again, messing with the tape players has fixed things, right? It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. Oh. Shit. That's her voice in the static. I... I forgot who told us this, but didn't somebody tell us? Somebody or something told us a while ago, don't let Jonas speak to his mom. Shit. Uh. Okay, if there's anything, any way I can get out of this, I need to do it, but I don't know what to do yet. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? Jonas, I, I think we should go. Really. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... Huh? Well, uh... Jonas, wait!
Wait! <sighs> oh no. Uh, I don't know if I did a good thing there. I don't think I did. I don't know, I've always associated... I've always associated doing this with, like, exercising demons or something. You know, like a, a good thing, but I don't know if that made it better. I was trying to stop Jonas from talking with her mom, and I don't think I did that. Shit. It still vibrates, though. I can still feel it vibrating. The controller's vibrating when I'm on this signal. On this channel. Frequency. Yeah, the area has it. As soon as you go left or right, it disappears. Shit. I almost want to like reload, but I don't even know if I did something wrong. I might have done that right. I don't know. Let's go. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Then just leave then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all the... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. No, uh, of course not, but you have to, no matter how hard it is. No, we don't have to. We don't have to do anything, not anymore. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back, we won't go back. Why? Why isn't this like connecting? Okay, this is this is good, right? Didn't Margaret say we needed to go to the other side and then tune into the source from here to like fix everything? Jonas, Jonas, are you are you here? Jonas, are you are you in here somewhere? Anybody? Clarissa? Guess not. It's the Canaloa. Oh, shit. You've come to close the hole. Right, Dad? Well, you're gonna find out it's not that simple. The horses have already left the barn. Yeah, I've come to close the hole. I've come to... to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your... your friends. Oh, getting started already, okay? You want to put chicken with the void? Fine. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Alexandra, wake up! This person action will only save those morons, not yourself. Don't you understand? This isn't the road you want to be on. Yeah, that's something I was thinking. If we have to go to the other side, and if this is going to, what, close the portal for good? To stop the bleed over between the realms? Well, if I'm on the other side when I close that, aren't I trapped? It looks like that's what they're trying to use to convince me not to do it. And, uh, well, I'm still going to do it. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. Nope. So.
friends. Malison. Youth. It is the road of the middle. Well played. I same design. <laughs> Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Okay, this is... This is gonna be fine. Just... Work through it. Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But... Michael's... Dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what... What's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Oh, now that I'm on the other side, I'm the one telling, I guess, past me these these tips these hints ooh will that change things for me well that could have gone better <sighs> right time loop Tell Michael he should go out on his own. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, did I get booted back in time? I know, I haven't used this desk in like a year, but Dad has all his gear on the kitchen table, so I've been like struggling with the stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have like a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. I... I don't know. I, I don't think it has to have a point. Well, that's where we differ, sister. I think things should have points. Things should be sharp. They should poke you. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great. Congratulations. I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I have bored you enough. I'm boring- Michael, say it. Come on, you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in. That's just cruel. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the- <sighs> You can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Getting... Wow, that's- that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some level of uh, Val there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? 
I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Oh, come on, Michael, we already have a dad. You should know. We all live in the same house. This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she all right? Ugh. Ouch. Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing all right? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... I didn't know what to think. What happened? I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. What happened? What was it like? What'd you, like, do? It was before my mom died. Before she even got sick. And, I don't know. It was just kind of a normal summer day, sitting in the living room watching TV with him. No, I had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but, like, did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh, taken during the night? Um, yeah. Yeah, a few. Just, um, just the one, I think. I saw, um, Michael a, a few times back when we were here on a kind of an accidental trip. I had my older sister. It was a night where I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa, really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... Let's make a pact to, to just keep it, like, ours. It's only our thing. It happened to us, and nobody else has to be involved. Yeah... I don't know, like it or not, we've had a, have, a shared thing now. Shared insane thing that I don't think will get reset once, like, graduation hits or something. Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is... A way to say it. Okay, I've got 
two hunches. Like, I feel like Michael's gonna suddenly pop up and still be alive because I, like, changed the past or something. Um, and I also feel like this picture is gonna have a demon in it or something like that. I'm, I feel like there's, there's a twist, you know? This is too happy. There's gotta be a twist. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Yeah, didn't we just hear that? Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care. I definitely care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. I left town to go to school. Undeclared. I need time to figure out what I... what I want, I guess. But anyways... Mm -hmm. What time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird, or mean, or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? So, we seriously fucked up time, didn't we? Okay, well I am really curious about the potential different endings so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the credits for now I'll show them later when I actually finish but uh, yeah I'm gonna go try out some different endings okay actually ignore what I just said this is uh, future me coming back from after having watched the credits and researched all the possible endings um, so I'm actually just gonna show you the credits because uh, I can't really show you the other endings without playing through the entire game I guess I was thinking that my decision at the very end could be uh, could be changed and would influence the ending, which is true. Like, I could have chosen, for example, to go through the portal back to the other side, which would mean making a pact with the spirits to for them to keep Clarissa, and I guess for the rest of us to be safe. So I could have done that, uh, but there's two problems with that. One, that changes some things, but that's definitely not the only thing that decides the uh, the ending you get. And also, I can't actually go back to the end. There aren't distinct saves, it just kind of auto-saves, and as soon as you finish the game, it looks like it just, uh, well, basically has you start at the very beginning again. So I'd have to play through literally the entire game to change that. So that's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, it's not just one distinct decision at the end, like whether you decide to give them Clarissa or not, that decides the ending. It seems like it's actually kind of, kind of like you have a bunch of different endings, all depending on what you do with the characters. So, for example, you might end up with Ren and Nona dating at the end, as was the case in my ending. Or, if you, you know, told Nona, like, it's silly, you shouldn't be with Ren, or you 
super discouraged Ren from being with Nona or some combination of that, then they wouldn't end up dating. So you kind of have like the distinct ending for Ren and Nona, and then you sort of have a distinct ending for um, Alex and Jonas. Whether Jonas is in the picture at all, whether he's... Apparently he can either be a friend or a stepbrother, depending on what you do. And they can either like you or not like you, depending on how much you side with him or not with him or blame him for stuff and things like that. So looking at the different kind of distinct good situations to be in with the different characters, I think I got mostly a good ending with, I think, one bad thing. So Nona and Ren were dating, so that's the good ending for them. Although, given that I hate Ren, I would argue that's a bad ending, <laughs> but okay, I'll accept that. Uh, I could alienate Michael and Clarissa. I don't know if that's relevant if you don't actually keep Michael alive, which is what happened in my ending. Um, but yeah, depending on whether you encourage Michael or Clarissa to be with one another, depends on uh, decides whether they will actually continue dating. Um, I'll get to more about Michael later. And there's, of course, whether Jonah likes you or not, whether they're your stepbrother or not. I think I got the good one there. I think they liked me, and I'm pretty sure they were still my stepbrother at the end. So apparently for the best ending with Michael, you want to not only encourage them to be with Clar Clarissa, so you want that relationship to happen, but to keep them alive, to keep them from drowning, you actually want to do the opposite of what I did. I encouraged him to leave town since he was feeling kind of restless and wanted to go out and explore the world. So I, I encouraged him to do that at every single opportunity. But to keep him alive, apparently you want to do everything possible to actually keep him in town. Keep him from leaving. You want to still encourage the relationship with Clarissa. But yeah, don't let him leave if you want him to stay alive. I don't know if that means that Michael would be on the boat with you at the end, perhaps? I'm not sure. Kind of curious about that. So yeah, in that respect, I got the bad ending for that. But I got the good ending for the other characters, I think. So let's talk a bit about Oxenfree. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. A nice little adventure mystery. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous looking. I actually wasn't a huge fan of how the characters looked, like their 3D models when you're moving around. In the pictures, in the, the 2D form, I thought they looked really good. But yeah, the 3D characters, a little bit weird, but the, all the backgrounds were absolutely gorgeous. Just such a wonderful kind of uh, painterly look to them. I love the synthy soundtrack, too. I really liked the radio as a way of interacting with the world. I thought it was really novel. It, was, uh, it, it felt really good to use, also. Because you could use it while you're running, while you're climbing, while you're doing anything. You can pull out the radio and be changing the frequency while moving. So the whole thing felt really fluid. And I just loved how it sounded and the little click as it turns on and off. And how if you tune into something, the controller vibrates. It just felt really good to use. It was always neat to come across a Karen and tune into some sometimes demonic, sometimes just strange little message from the other side. I just thought it was really cool. And then there's even an upgrade for the radio at some point in the game where you unlock the ability to listen to larger frequencies and do more things and unlock those call and response systems. And I just thought it was kind of cool how the radio felt and how it actually evolved in the game. It was really nice. There were a couple things that bothered me a bit about Oxenfree. One of them was just Ren as a character. I just found them really obnoxious. And unfortunately, they are in most of the game or at least a really good part of it. So I kind of wish that character was in less of it, or maybe just didn't exist at all. <laughs> they were really annoying. Uh, but the other thing, th the biggest thing, is that the dialogue in the game, not, not how it's written, but just like the actual way that you interact with the dialogue, that I interacted with it, felt uh, actually stressful and a bit uncomfortable. Uh, and the reason for that is because... Um, all the dialogue is, is timed. You only have a certain amount of time to actually respond before it moves on and the person says the next thing or you just stay silent and nobody else says anything. So you, you're always timed. I felt awkward entering my answers in before the other person had finished speaking because often that results in interrupting what they were saying. Not all the time, but it seems like pretty frequently when you answer... You select an answer before the other person has finished speaking. You just talk over them and interrupt them. And if you wait 
too long, if you wait to the point where they're not speaking anymore, then you've gotten to the point where the dialogue options are like pretty much gone at that point. Usually they're faded away to almost nothing. Sometimes you can catch it like half a second before it disappears and speak right after the other person finishes. But that's kind of scary because then there's a pretty good chance you're going to miss that window and your options will disappear and you just won't say anything at all. So there's this friction where I don't want to wait too long because I don't want to miss my chance to say something. But if I say something immediately, very often, it just interrupts what the other person is saying. Not all the time. Sometimes it seems to be scripted in a way where it, you select an option and it just waits for the other person to finish before you, before Alex says whatever they were going to say. But surprisingly often, like, I don't know, 25% of the time it feels like you just interrupt the other person, which is awkward and weird and I wanted to hear what they were going to say completely before interrupting them. So there's this like awkward friction in the dialogue and it always kind of kept me on edge when saying something. Uh, and the other thing about the dialogue too is that when you move to another area it completely wipes out whatever you were talking about, it just stops the discussion. Actually not just moving to another area but even examining an object will just stop the dialogue. So any time that I'm like walking and talking with somebody and then I come across something that I want to examine or another area that I want to transition to and then I just have to kind of awkwardly stand there, sometimes for a couple minutes until they're done talking, to examine the thing or transition to the next area, which also just felt kind of awkward. So yeah, the whole dialogue system was a bit strange. I didn't really like how it felt. So overall, I thought Oxenfree was really good. Dialogue system and Ren aside, <laughs> it... uh it was gorgeous, it sounded really great, it was interesting to play, and I was really engaged by the mystery of what's going on with time and this rift and the USS Canaloa and all these radio frequencies and call signs and everything. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So, that has been Oxenfree. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and thanks for watching.